Well, looks like that was a lot to take in. It's time for us to continue. This is part 15 of Persona 5 Royal. We're still in the month of May. And I already made up my mind on what day I gotta do to do, like, boost my knowledge. And it's on the 30th. Mm -hmm. I'm so sleepy. <sighs> I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. Staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. Really? You're failing for sure, man! Eh, it'll be fine. Nobody's expecting anything of me, so I don't gotta worry about grades. Uh, morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. <gasps> Impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Huh? Am I imagining things? What's wrong? What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's... nothing. Hmm? Oh my god! That guy got off! Isn't this bad? <laughs> hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on. Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <laughs> my goodness! I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? Wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses! Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm Madarame-sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese-style artist who's been recognized all over the world! Uh, 
But we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. And this just got really interesting. Back to the present. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? In the metaverse. This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness, never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? I don't want to say. Hmm, I see. <clears throat> Fine. Let's get back to Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Today's the last day of exams, huh? What's wrong? You're taking a lot of time to get through these. This isn't going too well. I wouldn't expect the great score. Finally done with exams. Hey, are you going to go in for counseling? I saw the volleyball guys getting called in. Oh shoot, I got that question wrong. I know, right? I feel like I have to protect that teacher. It's over. It's over. How about you? Yep. I'm not worrying about it. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. You really should. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic-raised eel. We don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. Oh, of course not! When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? I'm curious, too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Wanna go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> F 
fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled, then. All right, it should be fun. Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay. Well, tomorrow we go to the chat exhibit with Lady Aunt. I'm curious to know if this Madarama has anything to do with the name we heard of Mementos. We can't afford to be late tomorrow. We better not go out right now. So I keep thinking about what Na Nakano Hara said. Could he have been talking about the famous artist Manarame? That sounds about right. Second it. Great! The name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, you guys ever heard of someone else called Madarame? It's really not common at all. If what we heard is true, Kitagawa-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitagawa-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. We gotta look into this. Yeah, we should. And I believe it's time we get to work on, ma on making some coffee. Hey. Ooh, looks like you're starting to get interested in this. Hey, you're not trying to impress me, are you? Well, whatever. All right, I'm heading out to buy some cigarettes. Whoa, I love the smell of good coffee. Yes. All right. The way you're drinking it makes it look delicious. <laughs> Looks like the Chief's gently charm is rubbing off on you. That's gonna be helpful. Still trying to reach up with knowledge. I know where I messed up and I know how I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> Looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. Mm. This acidity. This must be Guatemalan SHB. Let me explain. The volcanic soil of Guatemala is ideal for growing coffee. Guatemalan beans are ranked by their altitude of cultivation. Strictly hard bean, a grade given to coffee grown at altitudes above 4,500 feet, has a citrus-like acidity and a full body. The flavor profile is bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast full potential. Although I see you're preparing the cup the way I taught you. I'll acknowledge your hard work. You see a lot of different customers come through when you have a cafe like this. Even if someone looks like trouble, I'll serve them the same cup of coffee I serve everyone else. That's my job. I have pride in what I do. You're like a customer too, one that takes a tremendous amount of effort. You have the potential, so keep training. Well, then. We should rest now. We have a big day tomorrow. Now the 15th. We're close to entering the palace. What is this line for? Oh, the ex exhibition must be opening today. It's really packed. Want to come back another time? I want it, but it's so pricey. I should take it alone. I want to see that. Let's go together sometime. So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Han be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out! Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Why don't we learn about Madarame? I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. 
We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say? What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day! Hey, stop pushing! There's way too many people! I'm getting crushed! Anyways, we gotta head for the exit! Don't die on us, alright? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. He's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei! Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this... strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. Mm. Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than... this one. Come now, this way. lady totally elbowed me but thanks to that I remember now about what well let me get to it it's about a post online here look at this why'd you leave without me you got it all wrong we got dragged into this huge crowd and eh, anyways you gotta look at this too this post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal! I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey. What do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Yeah, he does. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. 
If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitago Akun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, this might just be exactly what we needed. Well, that reminds me, the home shopping program is there today. Want to check out the TV? I should write something. We should, and I forgot to save yesterday. Luckily, everything is proceeding as planned. I should have honestly saved. I mean, I yeah, you're gonna have to save constantly. Well, let's first check on the home shopping program, and then on Monday, I gotta like, ugh, boy. All right, time to do some shopping. We first have the allergy relief pack, two masks, and 20 white eye drops. The other one is the cosmetic cure set. Great for anyone seek Roma medicine and an omnivitamin. I already made up my own choice. And it's the cosmetic cure kit, or the healthy cosmetic gift. Yeah, because that's going to help us for confidants. Indeed. And now it's time for us to continue with more coffee making. This is just making my work a lot more satisfying. Nice, we get another LeBlanc coffee. And it also boosted up my charm. Hoping to reach charm three soon. <laughs> Looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. Mm. This taste. It must be Colombian Narino. The high altitude, rainy climate, and soil of the Colombian mountains creates a strong foundation for their high quality coffee. Narino coffee has a creamy, viscous body that coats the mouth with fruity and nutty flavors. The flavor profile is bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast's full potential. Although I see you're preparing the cup the way I taught you, I'll acknowledge your hard work. I'll keep mentoring you, so keep it up. One day, there will be a flavor of coffee that only you can produce. You have potential. Keep training. Well, then. All right, now it's time to rest up, and the next day is upon us. We need loads of recovery items, because they're going to be useful for us. Okay, let's get started. Hey there, I'm Dr. Maruki, your school counselor. Thanks to the school, I can't even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to talk a little about how mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to stress you out or energy. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So... See, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's proof it can even heal you, depending on your outlook. So, Amamiya kun What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? The placebo effect. This is it. That's right. Yep, that's correct. Some people specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. We call that a nocebo. No hey, did you even get that question? It wasn't even close. Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Nice going. That's another one. Now I'm finally ranked two. Learned. All right. Should have been that way sooner, like a few days ago. Hmm. That's just one example. But my point is that our minds and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important not to push yourself too hard. Remember, your mind needs time to rest too. And it's my job to help with that. So 
Come by the nurse's office whenever you're feeling down. Mm. That mind affects the body, huh? You think I'll change back into a human if I just believe in it hard enough? The Madarami exhibit is great. You gotta go see it. I've been feeling pretty down lately. Maybe I should go to counseling. I never knew that art could be so explosive. Have you been to counseling yet? Huh? The Madarami exhibit, eh? When is it until? Phantom Thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, Kitty! Uh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. <laughs> me Again! Again! That's drooling. The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? And we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. So it looks like we gotta leave, huh? All right, then. Yeah, we gotta leave the take you station. This is it. There it is. All right, now we gotta proceed to the Central Street. You sure it's this way? I don't remember seeing a house. It's supposed to be in a residential area past Central Street. We'll have to walk a bit though, okay? Let's get going. Suguru Kamashida, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. You two are here as well? Hey, sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. 
Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home! This is no act of violence, it is charity! And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke... What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, oh, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? That's simple. A museum. Forgetting navigation? Whoa, really? Hey, when did you activate the nav? He surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed, and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once he started walking on two legs. 
So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that! Look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant, to the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Yeah, definitely. Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Yes! Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Ugh, are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Uh... Don't be stupid! We're not going in the front door! But there's a high wall around the building. We'll just have to find our way up over it then. In any case, let's get going. And that's pretty obvious. Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Yep, our mission today, this is actually the second palace we'll be visiting. Oh, look, we actually got a crappy portrait. So what we get to make some money. But our goal is to at least get like 200,000. For obvious reasons. We need 100,000 for a future confidant. All right, get another silk yarn. Well, well. Hey. Oh, the skylight's open? I think we can get in here. But it's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out the way? <laughs> Don't worry, I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist after all. So what's your call, Joker? Wanna head inside? Okay, let's see how different they made it this time. It's quiet in here, almost eerily so. Oh. Hey, this, it's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. This ain't anything to be freaking out over. Mm. Hmm, the palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. See it. You're right. Hmm? Oh, hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name and age. What the hell? This can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Hmm. Let's check the other paintings, too. I think there might be something important about them. Like this one. Damn it. This one's got a name and an age. They all look so similar, even down in the composition. I see. There's all over the palace. I have something. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Madarame? 
Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Well, it's all we can do. Let's just keep moving. All while getting whatever we can find. Huh? What? No way. Yusuke! Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? I think these are his pupils! I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Yeah, all of this is already giving me some really bad vibes. And look, we have lockpicks. There's some sort of brochure here. Hmm? What, you find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Look, a treasure chest. Hold on a minute. Guys, nice, we have three straw dolls. Let's get the map. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do, you, why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Oh, yeah. yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be good reference for the scale of this place. Huh? But the map only shows half of the museum. I see. It says it's one out of two. <sighs> then, there, then the two out of two has got to be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this place? We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is confirming Monorami's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace! Seems pretty sketch to me. That's true. But there's... There's more to it than that. Oh, nice! I stocked up! There's a reason why earlier I had to make, like, what? Three and then three more? I'm prepared. Ooh! All right, equip. Yep. Yeah, I stop. I made like a. I made like way too many lockpicks. Hey, is it my fault? Not really. What's this? Ah. Look at this. The Infinite Spring. A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Well, yeah, let's do this! That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? 
It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what! The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem. What do you mean? Something wrong? I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamishida. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not. I don't know, if it were me, I'd never forgive that guy. Can you, let's see how, can you ask Yusuke on? Okay, got it. I guess we can talk some more about this after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Hey, hey another box game for you. Nice. It's my order from that home shopping program. Let's do it. That was actually a rather surprising way to go about this. We still got plenty of time. All we can do now is get some rest. Nice. And let's make sure we do that. Well hey, it's me. I just can't forgive Madarame, but... What On said made me think, to Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? No way! You're right. We're helping. It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I I'm not wrong, am I? That's a stupid question. You're not wrong. We'll take them down. Aw, oh, yeah. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. Now the next day. All right, I contacted Kitagawa-kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Just be yourself. That's actually kind of hard. Look, you don't got to go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame, remember? That is true. It sounded like Kitagawa-kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. All right, let's see what happens next. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Yikes. She got all the Mishima today? And it'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Okay, see you later. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Madarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Madarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. 
but that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? Oh, yes! You're totally right. Hmm? But I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. You hear her? <sighs> it's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. Huh. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? <sighs> Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again... And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Hitago-kun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. Wait, you're okay with this? <sighs> I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. 
I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model! Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? I don't know. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron! Dare that Yusuke. The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna. Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On. You're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses, too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Hagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Are you... not necessarily. Oh, yeah. It might not show your face. That doesn't make me feel any better about it! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Your hideout is moved from the rooftop to the Shibuya Take-You Building access way. 
Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Uh... Ryuji should know. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. I agree. <sighs> Whatever. I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady on nude? Then claiming to report us to the police? Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another change of heart? You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. I found out something insane about Matarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Matarame stealing his work. That's unforgivable! That journalist was looking into Matarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kinagawa Kin has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After the day, he's probably going to be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Matarame's still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. You're right. But we're going to end this part here because, man, oh man, we're already an hour. Next part, we'll be exploring Madarame Palace. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. It helps out big time. I will see you then. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.